I'm Teresa Teixeira and I am the curator of Historic Textiles. I'm going to be taking you through our new exhibit, War on Fashion. This dress is from the 18th century prior to the Age of Revolution. Fashion was very structured and based on um, court wear, especially when you look at formal wear like this. This is a party dress. And we know that it's a party dress and not an everyday dress because of the large panniers, which are the large hips. Panniers, or pannier, translates to baskets, and it's essentially a fabric-covered wooden basket frame that pushes your hips out, partially in order to make your waist look smaller, but mostly in order to show off how much fabric you can afford. So this is a uh, dress that dates from after the revolution, the age of revolution, and political thought had changed a lot. Um, especially in America, we started to try to tie ourselves with ancient Rome and Greece, uh, especially the um, Republic of Rome. We were so hardcore about it that people kind of dressed up in Roman and Grecian costumes. The waistline goes way up and that gives you a tall, pillar-like look. It also emulates the clothing that people were finding in archaeological digs in Pompeii and Herculaneum, which were newly discovered and so super cool. So this one dates to before World War I. The interesting thing for me about this is how tight her skirt was. Part of that was as an attempt for the rich to set themselves apart from the middle class who were starting to be able to afford these fashions. It's a style called a hobble skirt. It's so tight that it literally hobbles you because if you can't walk, you can't work. So if you're wearing something that you can't work in, it's very clear that you're not middle class. So this dates to after World War I. By this point, women could vote. The new woman was looking for more societal equality, which is why the dresses kind of echo boys' fashion. It's got a dropped hip and there's no shaping in the waist. Yeah, this is basically a flapper dress. My favorite thing about uh, flapper culture, I guess, is that everyone talks about the short skirts, and this is the length of a short skirt. Uh, 20s clothes are a fun combination of the prettiest clothes you'll ever find and the most unflattering clothes that you'll ever find. <laughs>